Hi Legendaries! In this video I'm going to be reviewing my favorite and not so favorite parts of the brand new update for Divi theme for WordPress. So let's jump into it. I installed the new Divi theme and what I noticed with mine is I couldn't just update it. It said that I had an update available but um, it wouldn't let me update it so I had to go into um, elegantthemes.com and download the new Divi theme and then I actually had to delete my old theme um, by like, here I'll show you what I did here. So I actually went into, um, went into this, I activated a different theme and then once another theme is active you can click on it and then go to delete. So that's what I had to do in, to install it and I've been reading that um, that there are some glitches so if your whole website is built on Divi right now maybe create like a subdomain you'll like notice here I have test.sarahart.ca so maybe create a subdomain to start playing with Divi um, if you're if, instead of upgrading and maybe something breaking because there are some people saying a few things are breaking if you're if you're um, just updating uh, Divi so that's my suggestion for you guys just just to make sure. Um, so first things first, when we install, you'll notice that the Divi theme options aren't in appearance anymore. They're down here under Divi. And the theme options are the same. We have a theme customizer. And then we have these new module customizer and Divi library, which are really, really cool. So I'll go into that in a minute here. I just want to show you guys sort of what it's like to create a new page in the new Divi theme. It's pretty cool. So... You'll notice it's a bit sleeker. I like the design. It's just way more, you know, it's way more simple, which is great and like sleek and um, really gorgeous colors as well. So I'm just going to load a template from the library. Let's do, um, let's do a, a sales page and we'll just preview it here. So a big problem that I found with Divi as a designer is the spacing and what was hard is that um, to really get a beautiful balance design, I work a lot with spacing, like the spacing between all the images, the spacing between, you know, say this, this and um, this box and the background and that sort of thing. So I personally found that the spacing in Divi wasn't perfect. Like say if you had two buttons next to each other, um, they'd be too far apart or that sort of thing. So I'm really happy to see in the new version that spacing, you have like total control. I'm gonna show you guys exactly um, what that looks like here. So we go into the theme customizer And we go into general settings, layout settings, and you'll see there's a super, it's super sleek now, but you can see you can actually change the content width, which I love because I find that the, on most Divi themes, the text area is way too big, right? And then I see a lot of people's Divi sites, they have all this text and it's just going to the edge of their website. And it's just, there's too much. There's actually a formula for how many words you should see, you should see um, in a line it was way too much so now you can actually uh, decrease the size of the width so the text was actually going to smush in I think it's as small as it can get right now but you can do that and you can change the gutter width as well so that's actually um, sort of the spacing between elements here you can see you can add or remove spacing um, and it's funny I was working on a client site and I actually had a developer go in and reduce that width um, in the previous version of Divi and now it's part of it which is great um, also you can change like the section height so if everything is a little bit too far away you can kind of click this now everything's closer together I personally like to give everything a little bit more breathing room so now you, you have this option to give everything lots of space and then the row height as well so there's lots of options here to change the spacing which is awesome and could totally make a huge difference in your design from like a super cluttered um, design to something that really breathes really well and has lots of spacing between it and I'll show you guys what I mean by gutter as well. So, because you'll notice everything is really close here. If I change the gutter, you'll see that the space in between those logos there, so the elegant themes changes. So you're giving everything a little bit more breathing room. And I see this a lot with Divi themes. Either there's too much white space, there's too much space between stuff, or there's not enough. So now we have 100% control, which I really, really love. 
The second thing I want to talk about is typography and unfortunately we're not seeing any new fonts, um, not that I could see anyway, um, and we still have like in the original um, we can change you know the header and the body, there's no like heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four and so on like I would love to see but unfortunately there's just two font um, two font options and you have to choose from what they have which is pretty good but not amazing and what I suggest for those of you who do want to change these you can do it in you can do some custom coding um, using you know you can either go to uh, Google fonts I'll just show you guys what that looks like so you can if you have any sort of HTML CSS skills or you want to learn what you want to do is you just want to go so say you choose font here and you click use um, and then you want to download this um, no, that's not right here it is so you want to add this code to your website this goes in um, I think into your header and then you use some CSS so if you know HTML and CSS this is something you can play with if that totally scares you I suggest going to upwork.com and hire a developer to change fonts for you. I've done that. Um, fonts can be really tricky. I find that plugins don't always work. So um, you can go to upwork.com, and that was just the, the back end of mine, but it's upwork.com. And um, you can hire a developer, and it, I promise you it's not that, just to change out all the fonts, like say, hey, I want a heading one to be this font, I want a heading two to be this font. Um, and they can do that for you and be pretty. I think it's worth it just to have the fonts that you really like. Like if you have a font that you, you know it's not a Google font or that sort of thing, maybe it is. It's gonna make it's just gonna make your life easier by hiring someone to do it. All right, so typography was the second thing I wanted to mention. And here, let me take a look here at a little bit further. And it's actually really other than you don't have more font options. There's some really great. Um, ways to customize your fonts here so you can change the size throughout the whole website or um, I'll show you guys in a little bit too you can change it just you know in a certain module uh, you can change the line height which is the spacing between the letters which uh, before the between the text which is so important um, it really changes your look from like really cluttered to you know really elegant with lots of space between it you can change letter spacing, which is the spacing between the letters. This is always good if you have uppercase. Um, so there's lots of options for getting like the perfect look. For sure, I'm really impressed with that. Cool, so I wanted to show you guys, um, let me see here, inside, yeah. So I really love the new options. So I'm just going to take you in to see this is sort of the new options for um, for the module settings and there's just so many there's so many options now what I really love is this advanced design settings and what's awesome about this is that you can make like certain like you can set your typography for the whole website to be like this but then you can go back and say okay for this one I just want it to be a certain way so let me find an example for you so this is actually not a text element so let me find a text element and then I can go to advanced settings and I can change the font. So if I want the font to be different just on, you know, this block here, I can, which is really great. Um, you can choose the font size, the color, all that good stuff. There's so many cool options. Um, I really love this advanced design settings. I think that really changes things and makes you be able to customize because sometimes you want, you know, certain modules to be look different, right? Um, another thing I thought was awesome, I know someone was asking me over in the campfire community um, about hover for buttons. I just want to show you guys that's awesome is now we can change the hover, we can change the look of the buttons and we can change the hover style. So we can change the color when it hovers and all that good stuff. We can change you know, letter spacing and all that. So that's a really great update. Um, another thing that I love too is in the navigation, so everything I love so much about this. But you can actually add your logo into the center now, you can have the navigation pop down um, after people start scrolling, which is really cool. Uh, I love that it can be in the middle, I'm really excited to play with this, I think I'm going to make just like a fun test website, <laughs> just so, and then do a webinar about it in a little bit, but just because there's so many cool options. 
Um, what else did I want to mention here? Go back to my notes. Okay, cool. And I think the last thing I did want to mention is the library. So that's really cool because you can actually, once you're done, you can save to library and then you can reuse this whole page um, again and again. So that's awesome because then you can, you don't have to start from scratch. And I think I saw, you know, in the discussion board that they're going to make it so you can upload those to like to a Divi community. And then I was like, well, that's great for designers because you can start selling you know, your layouts to people and that sort of thing. So it would be super simple. You just create it on one website and then you just export, you know, your your um, your theme and then just upload it to the Divi theme. So that's really awesome. It makes life really easy. Just press save to library and you just give it a name and then you can load it um, at any time. And what's cool about that too is um, there's some really unique things. I have, I've just started playing with this, but I know there's some really unique things that you can be doing with Divi theme. So anyway, that's sort of my general overview of the new uh, Divi theme update. And I think the, the best thing I think are, is the spacing and just the advanced design controls. Pretty much this new version is giving you like pretty much full range um, on the design, which I love. Um, and, and my negative thoughts are, you know, it would be great to have more fonts. I know a lot of people, that's such like, it's so hard for a lot of people not to be able to have all the fonts that they want or be able to upload a font. I'd love to see that a little bit more. Um, but other than that, it's a really awesome update. And um, yeah, I totally recommend it. So I'm actually an affiliate for uh, Divi Theme as well. And I'll, I'll leave a link below. So anyway, thanks guys. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I hope you guys loved that video. If you did, please share it below. My name is Sarah Hart from sarahhart.ca and I'm a visual brand expert and web designer. And uh, if you guys are still stuck with your website and you need a place to start, please check out my quiz, sarahhart.ca slash quiz. And that's a really fun way to get started on your design branding. And then I have some really cool brand books that go with it. So anyway, hope to see you guys later. Bye.